Shalom, shalom, Yahshua Allah. I'm going to start off first things first. Give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashil, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Ra Kadash, which in the Pele Hubitan is correct names of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the Apostle Elders of Great Millstone. And shalom to your sister, brothers, living this truth. And shalom to the brothers and sisters that's listening and studying to show yourselves approved. So, this is going to be a quick MOTB lesson, Yasharala. Quick little MOTB lesson. I got a clip that's going to show a what appears to be an Edomite getting the microchip, which we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashmi Yahusha to be the mark of the beast. Because it's going to be the way that you access your funds and how you access, you know, whatever the B system, whatever system they got in place, you're going to need that to even be part of a citizen of that. And what I love about this clip is that it's going to show that this is here and it is, it's in your face. It's not debatable no more. The Lord has made it plain. You know, these other little T-shirt of friends groups. They say the microchip is not the mark of the beast. Don't have a leg to stand on no more. IUIC ain't got a leg to stand on. WFI ain't got a leg to stand on. IUSBK, HOI, Battle Axes of the Most High. None of those camps got a leg to stand on no more because they've been proven to be false prophets because the, the MOTB is here now. So we're going to watch a clip and they're, they're getting it voluntarily. They're marketing it. We're going to watch an article about you know, a certain Edomite that's marketing the microchip. And, you know, we just got to call her long. You how about was shy that he sent us to the Apostle Elder's Great Millstone. We get the 100% truth. And we see now that they were the men that the Lord was working with because it's in your face now. You know, faith should be solidified, <laughs> you know, because now they're just waiting for the chaos to rain out. The CBDC, which is central bank digital currency, the digital money to roll out, and, and it's here. But right now, Esau is allowing people to voluntarily sign up for it. And in a minute, it's going to be made mandatory. So let's check the clip out. It's like Christmas. Yes. Oh, God. All right. Okay, the moment of truth. Oh, the boxes are quite big. So, dangerous things. So I've been wanting to get a microchip in my hand for probably about a, a good year now, isn't it, yeah. Joe? But look, they've got two different kinds of microchips. So I want the RFID one, and they implant it by taking in a big syringe and then putting it under the skin. Mm. Okay, so we're unboxing the RFID NFC implant kit. Let's see what's inside. It's from Dangerous Things. So we've got two things here. Oh, that's actually inside that tiny thing. So let's pull it out. Look, it's even on a little key keychain mm. for me. So you can use it like this first while you get used to it, and oh. then crack it open, inject it. And then this here is oh, do not open until visiting. So, yeah, so this is the sterile kit. So it looks like we've got some patches and um, obviously the, the nice syringe to shove it in. And basically in here you've got this little thing. So what you're going to do is you're going to basically plug this into your laptop, put your chip next to it, and it'll type into your laptop exactly what your chip number is. Okay. So this will tell you what the number is that you need to tell, for example, your gym this chip is what you need to put in, mm. essentially. So it really is just the, the size of a grain of rice, isn't it? I feel a little bit better having seen that, to be honest. Yeah? You yeah. think you might get one now? Uh, maybe. This is exciting. Isn't it exciting? Yes. And I also want to ask Beth a very personal question. Since she's got her background in religious studies, mm -hmm. people have been commenting on my content on Instagram and telling me that by getting my microchip, I'm summoning the devil. Something I found very unsettling that I wanted to talk to you about is people have been saying that I'm the devil and people have been commenting Bible verses under my content that have been telling me I'm getting the mark of the beast. Do you agree with them? Like, <laughs> Do I agree with them? No. <laughs> 
am I doing a devilish kind of behavior? Like, I'm keen to hear your mm-hmm. thoughts. <laughs> no, so I'm an anthropologist looking at religion and technology. I, I don't come from a specific religious perspective, but I am looking at people who use these kinds of satanic, demonic narratives to talk about the future of AI, the future of transhumanism, people who are, like yourself, engaging with technology at the physical level want to have it within their bodies, that they do tie this into their personal interpretations of apocalyptic scenarios. It overlaps with some um, more uh, broad spiritual new age ideas as well about what's natural and what's not natural. And this idea that if you're taking on board technology and becoming transhumanist or using AI, that you're engaged in something that's malevolent, that is satanic and demonic. These are narratives of rejection that actually you can see going back to the origin of other technologies as well. So, you know, the printing press was responded to as the work of the devil. Some people are very literal about the satanic element and some people are very literal about the God element as well when it comes to talking about AI. So these narratives interweave with each other in very interesting and creative ways. But I'm just, you know, I'm sorry that people were calling you names online. It's not. You see that? So they're going to have it to where they're going to defend people that are getting the MOTB. See how these devils do? Laughing, giggling. It's not, but that's the devil. He's a deceiver. You know, man and woman, they're the deceiver. And they're going to deceive, dang the whole world to get the mark of the beast. So let's get a, a clip of another devil that's promoting it. They said now it's being promoted. And they're encouraging her to get it. So it says... Elon Musk says his brain chip patients will soon outperform a pro gamer. Then takes a big old puff and says, let's give people superpowers. Woo, you see they're promoting it all sex. You get a superpower. You can process some of this information so quick. You be better than any gamer. Your reaction time will be quicker. They have a movie like that. Uh, they call it uh, Hobbs and Shaw, where they showed uh, Edris Ibra, you know, who's transhuman, has had a chip in his back. So this thing is now being mainstream. So it's not, you know, conspiracy theory no more. They're promoting it. It says billionaire Elon Musk has said that his humans, that humans with his company's Neuralink brain chip installed will be nailing 360 no scopes better than the pros within two years. See that within two years. Speaking on the episode of the Lex Friedman podcast, Musk went on to make some even wilder claims about the tech, including that the idea that Neuralink is going to have to speed up human brains so that AI doesn't get bored. So they're merging AI with this tech technology. And with that, that's a whole demon. That's a whole computer program you're going to be downloading in your body. That's going to have very dire consequences. You know, your is not going to accept you with that type of technology. You're no longer human. They call it transhuman. Musk says that this idea about the data rate of humans came about while he was thinking about AI safety and the possible barriers to a positive human AI convergence. The low data rate of humans, especially our slow output rate, would diminish the link between humans and computers. This devil trying to merge you with a computer. Says Musk before adding a rather unbelievable coda. Let's say you look at this plan or whatever and, and hey, I really like to make that plan happy, but it's not saying a lot. The human brain is the pinnacle of evolution, a computer that no Silicon Valley firm is even close to outperforming. We barely understand its complexity and capabilities comparing it to a plant. Not for me. Nonetheless, must insist a major goal to somehow increase the output rate of humans, i.e. how fast our brain is sending signals to the chip and records that the potential to go three, maybe six, maybe more orders of magnitude. Just in case you feel like Musk is pulling these numbers out of thin air. He goes on to agree with Freiman's suggestion that hundreds of millions will have neural links within the next couple of decades. You hear that? Hundreds of millions. So these devils are definitely pushing this, this microchip. You know, so uh, I, I'm going to read. I, I'll probably put this in the comment, you know, section if you want to read the whole article. Because I'm going to go to the scriptures to show you that. And that's that devil performing miracles, which I might get that. We might get that first. And let's go to Revelation 19 and 20. It says, and the beast was taken, and with him the false prophet. You know, the beast, EU system, a uh, false prophet, Roman Catholic Church, basically all Edomites, pretty much. And it says, and they wrought miracles before him, with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast. You're going to be, a lot of people are going to be deceived to get that mark of the beast. You know, they're talking that good talk, making it seem sexy. And the minute they're going to say, oh, you can't get no money, no food without it, you know. 
And it says, uh, and them that worship his image, because when you get that mark of the beast, that you worship in the image of the beast, which goes into worshiping Esau Eden, the so-called white man. These both were cast alive into the lake of fire, burning with brimstone. So don't get that mark. Don't get the microchip because the Lord is about to come and spank Esau Edom. You just heard that scripture said, throw them in a lake of fire, which is going to be that hot thermonuclear fire from the nuclear missiles. And if you got that microchip in your body, which is the mark of the beast, you're going to get the same thing they're going to get. You're going to get burnt up. And that's if you make it that far. Because Esau might still unalive you. He don't care about you getting his badge of dishonor. You know, so this thing is now here. It's made clear. The microchip, I mean, it, it's mainstream now. <laughs> That's why I know Nate over there real panicking because he talked against it. Now it's all in your face. It's clear now what it is. You know, we got a sure word of prophecy. So this is Habakkuk 2 and 3. For the vision is yet for a point of time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it. Because it surely come, it will not tarry. And what's it talking about? We're talking about the mark of the beast. It's tarrying right now, but it's going to come. And it's going to be made mandatory. Because it's clear now. You got all these devils talking about microchips. NFC goes in your hand. Elon Musk goes in your head. Neuralink. Just like the scripture said, spot on. You know, it's not like a broken record, but this, this prophecy is screaming loud and clear because it's coming real soon. So let's go to Revelation 13, 16. Since I said that, you know, one go in your hand, one go in your head. They want to go in your hand. I think they, they call that, she called it the NFC. That's what I've been hearing they call that. So this is uh, Revelation 13, lock it, uh, 16. And it says, And he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. See that? A mark. And mark goes under the skin. It's going to go under the skin. It's going to go in your body. They use a syringe. And then Elon Musk, he got robots doing the surgery to put that sucker in your head. In verse 17, and that no man might buy or sell, they're not going to take U.S. dollars no more. You're going to have to have that digital money and that microchip in order to buy or sell, to do transactions, do commerce. It says, say that he had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. All that's going to go one and the same with that microchip. It's going to have his name on it. It's going to have, when I go to verse 18, here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast for the number of a man. And his number is 600, three score, and six. It's going to be 666 on all those microchips that go out. It's going to go in people's bodies. And right now, if you don't have the spirit of the Lord in you, like if you ain't got enough wisdom out to understand what the mark of the beast is, because you got so many people out here in deceit trying to say, oh, it's not that. Go ahead and get that then you're going to be destroyed. Just like that scripture said, you're going to be destroyed with straight fire if you make it that far. Matter of fact, let's get that. We'll leave off with that, the penalty. Go get Revelation 14 and 9. It says, And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, Verse 10, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh, which is poured out without mixture to the covers of the nation, and should be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. So you will be destroyed if you get that RFID microchip. And it is going out right now. It's in your face, man. We just read an article. The devil's promoting it. We just seen his Edomite went and got it. And you know, when Esau go get some, your two-thirds Jake, they right behind it. I want it too. I want to be able to access my phone and my laptop without getting on it. Just access it through my head. I want that too. So all it takes is a celebrity, some prominent person to get it. And the rest going to go and get it. And they're going to get those numbers. They're going to collapse the economic system. And then that's when it's going to be made mandatory. You got to get it or else. You know, you're not going to be able to buy or sell. And you're not going to be able to be, you know, in our society unless you have that microchip. And it's here. <laughs> Ain't no debating it. I don't know. No, it's not that. Yeah, it is, man. If you can't see that now, hey, you you mark for judgment. Straight up. You a 230. You cannot see 
that the microchip is the mark of the beast. It should make perfect sense now. All the roads are leading to that. Everything Esau is doing is leading right to that. That's what they want. That way they can try to see and track and control everything. But the whole flag, we're not going to get that. We're going to refuse it. We know what that means. We don't want no smoke with your Howard Bosch and your So we're not going to get that. And we're looking to build up our faith so we can resist it. So I just wanted to show that clip, man. That was big. They even talking about somebody tried to warn a little dumb butt, but she's a heathen. So it don't matter. She's going to be destroyed anyway. And she truly is a Edomite. But, you know, with that being said, it's put on YouTube. Jacob's going to go and get it. Jacob be next. They probably going to get some big old Big Shirley. She'll get it promoted or get a celebrity to do it. And it, it's there it go. But we're going to avoid that. Lord will it. So I just want to do a quick little MOTB and show that it's here. It's in your face. And build yourself up to resist that. To say no to that. You know, the best way to do that is to start getting detached from this place. So with that being said, I hope this has been informative. I hope it's been edifying. I want to say Kwame Yashar Allah. And stay locked in. Because your house is quickly on the way. Shalom.